In the state of Pennsylvania, you are required to have auto insurance. Why is that? And what are the three things that it really covers and what do you need the most? In the state of Pennsylvania, if you have a vehicle that you drive that is licensed, you need to carry auto mobile insurance, auto insurance, car insurance, whatever you want to call it, because as you're driving, there are some risks that you could hit, injure, damage, something. State minimums in PA are $15,000 per person of liability, $30,000 of liability per accident or per occurrence, and $5,000 of property damage. And these minimums are ridiculous. They've not been updated in a long time. $5,000 of property damage is not very much. In today's world of backup cameras and sensors and heated windshields and all sorts of blind spot monitoring, you name it, very rarely are you gonna get out of an auto accident, no matter how big or small, for only $5,000. We recommend $100,000 per person in liability, $300 per occurrence, and $100,000 of property damage liability for your auto insurance policy. That means if you hit somebody, you have coverage to cover their medical expenses. If you damage a building or somebody's vehicle, you have the property damage that steps in and pays for that. So you hit somebody's car, that property damage pays for that. You hit somebody's mailbox, property damage, you rear end somebody and they need to be taken to the hospital. Your liability steps in and pays that aspect of it. So that's the first thing, the liability aspect, and that is the only thing the state requires that you carry on your auto insurance. The next side of things are the things that you care about. It is protecting your own vehicle. So the state requires you to care for other people's vehicles and their things and carry coverage for that. They don't care what you carry for yourself, so it's up to you. The two things that you can carry for yourself mainly are the comprehensive and collision, the two things that cover your vehicle. Comprehensive is another term they call it is other than collision. I like to say it's anything that is not your fault. So a tree falls on your vehicle, not your fault, comprehensive. Your vehicle gets vandalized one night, comprehensive, not your fault. It even goes as far as if you're driving and you hit a wild animal, you hit a bear, you hit a deer, you hit anything. That's a comprehensive claim. You can't control whether the animal runs in front of your vehicle or not, comprehensive. Comprehensive deductible, generally we keep we recommend and keep those lower because they cover things like rock in your windshield as we discussed, and a windshield costs maybe three to $500. So if you keep your comprehensive deductible lower, it will pay for most of your uh, windshield issues and repairs that you might have. If your comp deductible is $1,000, you're gonna save on your premium, but you'll pay for all of your glass claims out of your own pocket, which some people aren't real fond of. The second element is a collision coverage for your vehicle. Now that is you hitting anything. You hit a car, you hit a building, you hit a tree, you hit a telephone pole. All of that is collision and those are generally a little more widespread and more common than comprehensive claims. And this is generally the more expensive one and these coverages or these deductibles are a little higher because usually it's a little more damage. So we recommend anywhere from $500 to $1,000 of collision damage to help keep your premium a little lower. And that way, if you hit somebody and damage their vehicle, you pay the first $500 to get your vehicle fixed back up. We'll take care of the rest. So say your whole front hood and bumper is all messed up from an accident. You pay the first $500 if that's your collision deductible. And then we will cover the rest for paint, for new parts, for labor, all that stuff to get your car fixed back up. So you as the customer have to have liability insurance and then can choose what you want on comprehensive or collision. So those are the three main elements of an auto insurance policy. First is the liability that the state requires you to have. Second is comprehensive, all the things that happen that are not your fault. And third is the collision, which generally are your fault and is when you collide with anything. And so those are the three elements. Hopefully that's helpful. If you've got questions about your auto insurance policy, feel free to reach out. We have agents here all day long that are happy to answer any questions. For free, take a look at your current insurance policy, give you some recommendations, even provide quotes. We're an independent insurance agency. 
which means we can get quotes from all different types of companies and provide them to you to make sure that you have the most competitive and best insurance policy possible for your vehicle. So check us out online, give us a call and check out some more videos for some more tips.